Sr. and Robert Alcazar were talking trash to each other, and when Trinidad hit Delahoya's gloves, he meant it. So guess what, folks? The fight is on. Now there's our starter, but don't go to the bank on that. Delahoya has told us he will box. He wants to counterpunch. He is a slow starter in another sense, Al, and that's because he studies his opponent in the first round or two. He uses that as a study hall. He gives them little moves, sees how they react, sees what they have, sees how they throw punches. So very much a feeling out first round. There's Delahoya with a jab and a straight right hand. Delahoya misses with a big left hook. So first it was Trinidad pursuing, now it's De La Hoya. Just settling, changing the momentum to where De La Hoya is moving forward. First Look combination. At, and you know what's impressive so far is the hand speed of De La Hoya, giving target. Oscar's body looks much better defined than it did in that last fight with Obakar. Round two, Oscar De La Hoya in the blue chunks, Felix Trinidad in the white. They hardly need an introduction to you, but there it is nevertheless. Something to keep in mind, Al. Felix Trinidad has been down six times in his career, all of them in the second round. I don't know about that. But it could turn out to be that way, and, and of course that's the charm of this fight. It could turn out to be that way for either man. Trinidad has thrown more punches than Oscar. There's the first jab landed by Oscar De La Hoya. Neither man has landed much. Right hand gets in over the jab by Trinidad. That's something he'll want to do as this fight progresses. Trinidad normally has a work volume that picks up in the first uh, two or three rounds, bit by bit. De La Hoya is starting to use the jab and use it with conviction. And this is with those combinations. Trinidad was wary there, and he backed off as soon as Oscar started coming to him. right that doesn't quite get there and so far it has been a chess match we doubt it'll be that for the entire 12 rounds left hand gets in by Trinidad Trinidad beginning to get more active now Al beginning to get into the fight here a little bit nothing offensively very little there he throws but misses a couple of shots right hand by Felix Trinidad Tito starting to take more chances too Oscar heard that 10-second warning and goes to work. Right hand by Trinidad, by De La Hoya, very close round. Round two, while it wasn't a wild, active round, as you said, Rich, things did pick up. Trinidad is moving in. It looks to me like he's willing to take more chances. He's tasted a little bit of Oscar's power, but... De La Hoya and Trinidad both want to establish the jab. So far, Trinidad has used that punch a little bit more. Neither man has made it work real well. Again, there's the hook by Trinidad. Because there is the feeling that somebody could knock somebody down. Trinidad so far, I think, is making one dangerous move. And that's he's throwing lots of left hooks and they're going kind of wide. The punching period so far. <laughs> Halfway through round three. So far, Trinidad has been the aggressor and what little damage has been done, primarily has been done by him, although round two is very, very close. De La Hoya still moving. He's had lateral movement throughout. Touchdown between himself and De La Hoya. De La Hoya misses with a big right hand there. And did you see how quickly he brought his hand back in a defensive posture after throwing that and missing? Good jabs by Trinidad, but then De La Hoya comes back in his own. Good uppercut by De La Hoya. First significant punch of the fight. And there's the De La Hoya jab getting in, and now things are starting to heat up a little bit Oscar's toward the end of round three. Oscar's jabbing more in this fight. He does have a great jab when he chooses to use it, Al. He showed that against Miguel Angel Gonzalez when he jabbed all night his way to a victory. Still strong, quick jab, and he's using it in this round. Watching with us the fight of the millennium, Oscar De La Hoya in the blue trunks, the WBC welterweight champ in the white trunks. It's Felix Trinidad, the IBF champion. There's De La Hoya going to work with his jab. Things have started to heat up in this match. I thought both fighters looked uh, tight in the first three rounds, not relaxed down, not really letting things go in the fluid nature that they normally do. Slight blood from the nose of Felix Trinidad. 
not a factor at this point. They are mirror images of each other in the ring. They are the same height, the same weight. Both have good boxing skills and both have power. Mitch Halper in the third man of the ring has barely had to step in to even break a clinch. Good right hand by Trinidad. That's what he wants to get in. One of the strong points of Halpern is that he is so unobtrusive. Trinidad using his jab. Again, the lateral movement of Oscar De La Hoya. There's the hook by Trinidad. He's going to want to throw that punch, and it's a danger for him because De La Hoya could counter him with his own hook. But Trinidad walks into a jab as he tries to throw the right hand. The De La Hoya jab now starting to get there a little more. These early rounds are important, Rich, because they're so close, it's tough to know who they're going to go to. Tito, look, that was a great body shot by De La Hoya, but and Tito has looked a little more urgent in his desire to get at Oscar in this round. But Oscar working that jab. It's a good counterpunch to tell where the momentum of this fight is headed. Missed by Trinidad with the uppercut. Again, De La Hoya sticking the jab out there. But right by De La Hoya. And he got right back out again. He got close to Trinidad, landed the right, and backed away. Hook by De La that punch, but the left got in. See that they have great respect for each other's punching power. They have to. Big right counter. Now, De La Hoya really wants to counter Trinidad. To off as I was saying, every time he punches counter. Good right by De La Hoya. Now here's the De La Hoya that could get in trouble standing right in front of Trinidad and he just got hit with the right hand. No movement, just kind of staying there, not punching. That's what he did against Corte. With the jab of De La Hoya getting in. Trinidad misses with the hook. He's insisting on throwing the hook and De La Hoya is not making the most of that by countering with his own hook, which is believed to be the more powerful punch of the two hooks. Trinidad actually abandoned his jab a little bit in the last round or so. There's the jab from Trinidad. There's the left hook from De La Hoya. It missed. As did the right. Good right and a hook from De La Hoya. That shook up Trinidad a little bit. Nice hand speed by De La Hoya. De La Hoya is giving Trinidad problems. Make no mistake about that. Has long studied his opponent and is actively breaking down his opponent at that time. Trinidad is good. It's the movement wouldn't win him around, but Delahoya has punched enough to get it done. Here's a nice right hand by Trinidad over a lazy jab of Delahoya. Again, very close rounds. And those are the kind of combinations that can win. He pushes Trinidad back. May have hurt him with the right hand. I think Oscar De La Hoya is winning this fight so far. Trinidad is having all kinds of trouble reaching Oscar with his punches. And now the combination punching of De La Hoya is becoming a big factor. His hand speed is not giving Trinidad any opportunity to build up any momentum with combination punches. It's just a punch here or there that Trinidad is getting in. Should De La Hoya be busier though, Rich? Yeah, he probably could be, but he's he's very concentrating on sticking to his fight game. Trinidad continues his assault. Good right hand by Felix Trinidad. Raised the head of De La Hoya. Trinidad the aggressor in this round, but early in the round, De La Hoya landed good. Good right hand by De La Hoya. And another. He's punching with power with that right hand. Of course, remember, there's power in that right hand of Trinidad. Quick right by De La Hoya. The hand speed of De La Hoya, I think, is the difference so far, Rich. Well, because he's, when he uses it, he's using it in combinations. Good jab again by De La Hoya. He is looser now, and he is throwing some shots. The difference is he's throwing more than one punch at a time, and Trinidad's throwing only one. He seems to have the better power later in fights. He's shown it in a couple of fights. 
Trinidad comes out starting fast again here at the starter of round seven. But he has been unable really to control the whole round no. to this point. And I think Trinidad respects Delahoya's power. He's not, when he's coming in, he's frozen at times. He's content to fight in spurts, but it's been effective for him. Blocks the left hook by Trinidad. Some of the crowd getting on Delahoya for his movement. They want to see more action. Left hook gets in by Delahoy as he throws a three-punch combination. And amazingly, he stayed to it. Good right hand. Are you surprised that Delahoy has been able to get his right hand in as much as he has? Uh, yeah, I think I am. He has been able to land it either as a lead or as a counter. But Trinidad is starting to take some chances here, I think, and he could leave himself open even more to it, Al. He has some trepidation. There's a wild left hooks that miss by Trinidad. And the hook from De La Hoya gets in. Because Trinidad's not putting enough pressure on him. He's not hitting him enough punches. He's not doing anything to wear Oscar De La Hoya down. Right hand again gets in by De La Hoya. And again, De La Hoya steals the action at the end of the round. Good the jab by Trinidad. Power right by De La Hoya. And Trinidad gets his own right hand in. So it's good. Oh, and Trinidad hits him after the bell. And we have some action. And Alcazar brings him back to the corner. Well, we headed to round eight. The crowd is into it. It has been a tactical fight, but a pretty interesting one in certain ways. Oh, the shootout. Trinidad's coming faster here, Al. Coming after him. Well, his father whacked him two or three times in the corner and said, we got to get after him. But See, the hook doesn't get there for Trinidad. In the I am surprised Oscar is... Well, good. Good hook by Oscar after the right hand. Oscar's done well getting his right hand up to block the left hooks of Felix Trinidad. Body punches by Oscar. Oh, warning, warning to keep it up from Halpern. Didn't look like there was a low blow there. Oh, jab to the body and a straight right to the head. You can feel De La Hoya starting to vary his attack. And right now it's Trinidad who looks more one-dimensional coming in. Very surprising. Trinidad's supposed to be the two-handed fighter with a varied attack. Good right by... Oh, there goes De La with a good combination after Trinidad had landed an excellent right hand. That's the difference in this fight. Trinidad throws one punch at a time. De La Hoya throws a couple. Oscar able to move side to side in a circular fashion. He's been doing what he wants. I wonder if Felix Trinidad is beginning to be discouraged. And the wide hook of Trinidad, very bad for him. Oh, that one got in. But normally, it's a punch he doesn't want to throw. The first one, Oscar blocked with his hand, like we mentioned he had been doing throughout the bout. But that second one did get home, and Oscar has gotten wide open for some reason defensively. Every time the last 10 seconds come up, De La Hoya attacks. And again, after the bell, comes Trinidad. If anything, I think, would you agree, the power of De La Hoya has been felt more by Trinidad? Oh, yes, without question. And the, and the combinations have been stinging. Yeah. Very sharp. And we've not seen the Trinidad right hand as much as we might have, although he has landed it on several occasions. Since about the second round, that was a good left hook to the body by Trinidad. I must admit, I did expect more of a shootout between these two. I did too, truthfully. I thought there'd be some hellacious exchanges. It hasn't been that way, but De La Hoya is picking up in confidence now and letting the combinations fly. Boy, is he working the body of Felix Trinidad and not paying for it at all. He is working on the inside to the body and not taking any counter punches by Trinidad. But of course, that could be dangerous for De La Hoya because Trinidad has that big right hand waiting. But Oscar seems to sense something here. And his foot speed, Delo's foot speed, Rich, is making a big difference. This is probably the best pure boxing exhibition De La Hoya has given in a long time, maybe ever. Trinidad has just been unable to sustain any kind of attack. And there's a punch here, punch there. Again, that right hand up to block the punch by De La Hoya. Will you look for him to dominate you? However, you must remember, and I'm sure Oscar does, as he takes that right hand, that he can't get complacent in the ring. He cannot get complacent defensively and get too relaxed because Trinidad can make him pay at any moment. Right hand by 
De La Hoya, a left hook by Trinidad. And that instead of setting down on for his comment, that, that left hook he set down on, but missed. Big right by De La Hoya. Again, a round in which De La Hoya's boxing skills look to be enough to win this round. Well, whenever Oscar hears that 10 second warning, he goes right to work. Going into this fight, it would appear that Oscar De La Hoya's best chance for power punches was the left hook, and Trinidad was his right hand. It has been just the opposite. De La Hoya has landed mostly right hands, and Trinidad has tried at least mostly to land the left hooks, though he has dropped in some right hands. There's the hook again by Trinidad. Good hook again by Trinidad. That one got there. He impaired still from the Obacar fight. Well, it's possible. I don't think so. I've seen him throw it a few times with enough power in ones that he's missed to make me think that he's throwing it with intention. In round 10, it is scheduled for 12. There have been no knockdowns. Coming on a little in that last round. Even if he lost the round, I thought yeah. he, was, uh, he was doing better. And he's come out here again yeah. intent on getting to Oscar. And in this round, he has landed some, some pretty good shots and not taken as many counter punches. Full power from Felix Trinidad. And that's just what he wants. He wants to go through 12 rounds without ever once facing. Round though, De La Hoya has done very little offensively. If he's going to win this round, he's going to have to really make an effort. This bout, and still, both men aware of the power of the other man, not willing to take too many chances. Well, I think Trinidad's got to change that. Trinidad may be a little heavier handed, but really Oscar's been had the far flashier combinations and the sharper punches. Trinidad is winning this round, however, on aggression. Yes, he is. And with only seconds remaining, Felix Trinidad having one of his better rounds in this bout and lands a couple of right hands against Oscar De La Hoya. Here comes De La Hoya, and, and they have a big exchange, but those are not punches thrown with conviction by De La Hoya. Those are pity pat punches. One round is not a fight make, though, and certainly De La Hoya did a lot of good work early. Now De La Hoya's trainer, Robert Alcazar, very clear in his instructions, just box him two more rounds and we go home with the belt. Could Oscar be getting tired? He got nailed with a big right hand by Trinidad. De La Hoya now boxing. Looks renewed, though. He is chasing Oscar with renewed vigor. And De La Hoya not counter-punching much. He's going to need to let his hands fly. De La Hoya has the look of a fighter who is either tired Seventh and eighth rounds against Ike Corte. Oscar had it all his own way for a few rounds there, but the, the momentum is switching in this fight. He had a Felix Trinidad has been relentless in his pursuit, and he's got two more rounds to make something happen. He's doing very well here in the 11th is Tito Trinidad. And it's still possible De La Hoya could win the decision. There will be a youth. Well, that's why you know Trinidad should be going going for the gusto, I believe, because he knows he knew coming in that Oscar De La Hoya has been the beneficiary of very close decisions here. A couple of jabs by De La Hoya, good right hand by De La Hoya, and Trinidad gets in the hook. De La Hoya has never got that left hook on track. Trinidad continues to be the aggressor. This fight is moving in his direction. He is going after De La Hoya. Oscar better. The hook gets in by Oscar. He's not throwing that punch with a lot of conviction, though. And Tito Trinidad has won himself another round, I believe. Pushing back somewhere. Those punches not meaningful by De La Hoya. De La Hoya simply trying to stay out of harm's way. We are in the 12th round. 
early in the fight, Trinidad got off pretty well in round one. Round two was close. Oscar had a series of rounds in which he completely outboxed Trinidad. That turned around in round nine. Trinidad has been pursuing De La Hoya through then. I have this fight. Six, four, and one even right now for De La Hoya. But that is so unofficial. That right hand of Trinidad driving De La Hoya back. In the corner, De La Hoya, you can tell by the way they're instructing him, they feel he has a decision in the bag. And they just want him to get through the 12th round safely, and they feel they'll go home with the belts. But not throwing too many punches. He faints there. Big right hand by Trinidad. Another one. Oscar's in a little difficulty here. Trinidad finally seems to have solved him. Finally, the right hand has gotten there by Felix Trinidad. It has become a big weapon here. The jab again of De La Hoya. Yeah. Hit 20 left in this round. Trinidad continues to... Oh, nice left hook by De La Hoya. There was a little bobble there by Trinidad yeah. after that shot. You have to wonder if De La Hoya would have been able to follow up on that. And that was the first really good left hook he's landed in a long time. Good jab by De La Hoya. He's actually... And the hook again by him. So now he's doing something offensively. This round might still be up for grabs. Trinidad had great success with the right hand early in this round. And that's about the fourth one that he's landed cleanly in this round. And except for spurts, he has not been really much in this round either. What was a superb boxing performance by Oscar De La Hoya turned into a defensive performance in the last few rounds and not one in which he got a lot accomplished. There are only seconds left to go in this bout. And I believe Trinidad has swept the last three rounds. But what's that going to mean on the judges' scorecards? And possibly the last four, who knows? Certainly the last three. That'll do it. This one is over. Right, we take a look at some of the uh, second round action. I thought Trinidad did much better. He got in with that left hand. De La Hoya felt it. I thought Trinidad was starting to get there a little bit with jabs, too. But De La Hoya near the end of the round. Take a look at the action now in round four. De La Hoya working the body, but Tito countering nicely with a left hook. There's that good body shot, but Tito countered. All right, there's that good combination by De La Hoya, three-punch combination, the most effective punch, that right inside to get him. There was the good right from Tito. That was a very good right hand by Tito at the end of the round. Then he definitely hit after the bell. Take a look. Well, he only caught that one punch in the round. It was a beauty by Trinidad, but Oscar, as you can see, was controlling the action. This is some of the action throughout the fight. As the fight is picked up here in the last few rounds, Oscar has been picking up in terms of combinations, in terms of getting his jab working. And Trinidad has been having a lot of trouble. 114 to 114, he has it even. Bob Logis scores the bout. 115 to 114. And Jerry Roth scores the bout. 115 to 113 for the winner by majority decision. De Puerto Rico and the Unicorn.